welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Ray Dunn haul and I did not think I'd have another one so quickly but I got lucky again this week and to be honest it started out very slow. I'll show you what I found first and then we'll kind of go into um, the other items but I was able not only to find some Ray Dunn items, but I got very, very lucky with the other collection, the Johanna uh, Parker collection. So without further ado, let's get into the specifics. So the first item I found, and I do have so much St. Patrick's Day, but I could not pass up was, hang on for it. found another of the large chubby canisters. I found the pot o gold. And this was found at Home Goods 19.99. So I have the leprechaun treats and I believe I also have the luck of the Irish in these big chubby canisters, but last year I had wanted the pot of gold and I think last year it had um, the watercolor and I was unable to find. So when I first saw this, I actually left it on the shelf and I'm thinking, do I need another chubby canister? They are hard to decorate with sometimes, especially because they take up a lot of space. But this is the one I really wanted, the saying. So, I ended up walking back to where it was. It was actually in the checkout queue and I grabbed it and I picked it up. I also saw right before it, like a day or so before, I saw the big um, black pot of gold. Um, it's like a, looks like a pot, kind of like the witch's brew pot from um, Halloween. And then it has that, um, supposed to look like gold, but everyone says it looks like mac and cheese, and I've seen a lot of people spray paint with actual uh, gold glitter, like sparkle spray paint. I think it's from Krylon, I believe, which I may actually consider doing, too. I have the little baby canister, and I also have the pot of gold um, black mug. I'm debating. I don't know. I'm not loving that collection, but I got lucky finding it and I grabbed it. But that big pot, I just thought it was huge and I did not want it. So I'm very happy with this canister with the saying and everything. So I think I'm pretty good with St. Patrick's. But I had told you I had found this mug. So I have this I hauled already, but I had found the Irish coffee mug with the green handle. And this does not have green inside and it has nothing on the back. And this one I found from Home Goods. But this week I finally found the same mug. I know you're gonna say it's the same mug, but this one has the green inside and the regular white handle with the shamrock on the back. And this I found at Marshall's, $5.99. I think being that they are a little different, I can't help it, I like them both. But I actually do have an extra of this mug and I think I'm going to give it away on the channel. So stay tuned at the end and we'll discuss a possible giveaway for this. Because like I said, I have an extra of this mug. But on that same trip, I finally, finally found an iridescent mug. The Be Mine Iridescent. And I wasn't too keen on these mugs when they first came out. But I don't know, everybody's been wanting. And the fact that... I found, I walked in, and let's just discuss first, this was Marshall's, $5.99, and 
And again, be mine, iridescent. And there is inside, there's a label and the label tells you that the glass may fade in the dishwasher. So that was part of the reason why I wasn't so keen because I'm thinking if you use this mug, I've heard people saying if they use it and they go to clean it, the iridescent comes off. So I think if I do display this, this is just going to be a display piece and not be something I drink out of because I don't want that pretty iridescent to kind of come off of it. But I walk in that day to Marshall's and this was a little later in the week. I think it was, it was Friday, I believe. And tanks galore and nothing touched and just everything was like full tank. So they, so I walk in that day, like I said, and there's just a ton, a ton of tanks. So there was a box, a full box of these. And again, I am doing a couple of trades here and there with people local and also on some of the boards. I probably could have leveraged a trade, but I left them for somebody else that would like them. I'm, like I said, I was just happy to get one of these. I don't even have one in my collection, so I was just happy. I grabbed what I grabbed for me, and that was that was it. But on that same, like I said, I found the found the Irish coffee mug with the green. I found the B mine. They also had. And I had hauled it the last time, the um, egg um, from Joanna Parker, the, it looks like a Fabergé egg for St. Patrick's Day. And my mom actually wanted it, so I gave her, because I had found and gotten one through um, someone local. She sold it to me for um, retail, which was very nice. And, but I got lucky and I found another one and my mom wanted, so I gave that to my mom. But also, I found one of these by Joanna Parker to match that set. I found the little canister with the leprechaun on it. And he is so cute. He does have, I don't know if you can see it, he's got like a, he's got a little chip off of his hat but this stuff really does chip very easily and I was just happy to find there wasn't another one on the tank so I took him um, and again this was Marshall's and this was $12.99 and he's just like I said he's adorable he's like a little he's a little canister so it's like a little black pot and he's got like the little feet on the bottom and the little leprechaun gnome guy as the topper. So just very happy with him. But also that same day, I don't have anything from the Mud Pie collection. I know a lot of people at Christmas have um, Mud Pie with the reindeer. I don't have, I never saw it in person, and I have other reindeer stuff, so it just, I didn't need it at that point. But I walk in and they had a ton of these, and they had uh, two different kinds, and I only grabbed this style because, and I'll explain in a minute, but I grabbed this little, I don't even see it, I just think it's cute, um, little bunny, and it's like the girl bunny with the bow and it has a little spoon and it says hoppy on the spoon and it's attached with like the bakery um ribbon like that you would get like if you bought pastries or cookies at the bakery and it's let's see it's got like little handles and this was like i said same marshall's 7.99 and I don't know if you can see the label, but it is mud pie. I don't know if that's good. There we go. And they had this one, like I said, with the little with the little bow. They also had the I guess this is more the female version with the bow, the pink bow and the pink polka dots. They have one that's more the male, I would assume, without the bow, and it's just more um brown I think versus the pink. I 
grab this because I think I'm going to be doing more of like a pink pastel for Easter time and I'll show you why in a couple minutes but I'm thinking more pink pastel and maybe mixing in a little bit of black I don't know I have had this vision in my head how I want to decorate this year but it's slowly taking shape and form that said when I found that before it I walked in to home goods the day before so the last couple pieces that I'm going to show you now are from home goods and I walk in and walk to the aisle that has all of like these ceramic plates mugs um, you know like the kitchen dinnerware and stuff and I see this little guy sitting on the shelf and this is the if you're not familiar with the carnival cottage Joanna Parker collection he is part of the laughing Luna collection and he's a little mug topper I haven't taken any of the paper off but um, like the plastic but this little hat comes off and so it's a mug um, and he retails for $5.99 and all four of them were sitting on the shelf so not gonna lie I grabbed two of them and then I went back and I took the other two and I was thinking they're so cute but a friend of mine who also collects showed up at the same time and I gave her two and I took two so I have two of these um, but this is only the beginning so they were bringing out they were rolling out tanks for the day and we had just hit it at the right time the girl went in the back and she was just starting to bring things out and she brought out wait for it matches this collection but first before she brought that out put that down I don't want it breaking I put it already in my Valentine's display. She brought this little like ladybug. So this is a little separate collection. I don't have anything else from this collection, but she brought this out and I was like, oh my God, that is adorable. And again, the Carnival Cottage collection by Joanna Parker. And this, I'm gonna bring it, but this, like a little canister so the lid comes off and then just a little canister inside let's put the lid on I don't want to break that and you can see the bottom has the feet and again $5.99 home goods so this little this little guy is here now in my display but at the same time that she was bringing that out, she brings out some of the other pieces from this original collection. She brings out, hang on, I want to break. She brings out the sugar and the creamer set. And again, haven't taken this out of the box yet, but this is the little sugar guy and then the little creamer and again this is the laughing luna collection and oh it's on the back this collection this set is $12.99 and I'm thinking oh my god I mean the sugar and the creamer and the mug I was happy enough with just that but wait for it she also then brings out the teapot. How adorable is this little teapot? I'm ecstatic with this little collection. So the little teapot has like little stars on the base. The handle is just black. And that's the lid. The lid has the little star on the top black spout and the teapot is also $12.99 same collection back is just plain 
but oh my god, how adorable. I'm loving this set. So I'm thinking, how else? That's it. Like, I, I found, I thought, the Holy Grail. But I knew also some local people had been finding the measuring cups. And last year, I've mentioned this before, last year I was lucky enough and I have the yellow set. So this is from last year. You can see, I don't want to break it, let me. So here is the large, the one. And used to display, but you can see. $16.99 and they were from Home Goods last year. I'll show you the rest. So I've got the it's the half. Third and the quarter. So I have the whole set of that. But I'm dying, like I said to you, to do like pink and black possibly again because to show you this set I don't know if you can see with the black the little like blush is in like a mauve pink color so I think like the pink and the black for the spring I have a pink home birdhouse from last year just I'm feeling I want to go with that color combination so I'm dying to find the pink measuring cups and I've been telling everybody that I want those pink measuring cups so I leave that store and I come home and I get back to work and I'm doing a couple of things and my younger daughter I had to go pick up her fifth grade t-shirt for her from the school and I'm thinking you know what there's another home goods like I was the one that I found all the other stuff this other home goods is about 10 minutes from the school in the other direction you know what I'm good it's like 2 30 in the afternoon never go at that time never I don't have time usually but I had a couple of extra minutes um, to play with ran over to that home goods and sitting on the shelf was the I'll show you was yellow measuring cups and I grabbed another one but I just realized and I want to cry I have one set but I was contemplating trading these but I realized and there were two sets of these if I would have grabbed the other ones I probably would have been fine there's a huge crack so I'm probably going to have to return these and I was being greedy so that's catching up with me but there's a crack. There's like a hairline crack. And once you take all of this off, the cup, unless somebody wants to try to mend it, the cups are broken. So, but I did end up getting the pink measuring cups. Sorry. And these are not cracked. So I needed them. They're going to go in my display. And I should just be happy. I did get pink. And again, just like the yellow originally, these are home goods and these are $16.99. So what can you do? The other ones are cracked. It probably will just return unless, you know, I'll put it on maybe one of the local boards if somebody's looking for them and they can fix them. Great. If not, I'm just gonna have to return them. But I did get the pink, so I'm excited. I got pink measuring cups and just couldn't be happier. Um, I don't know what else I'm really looking for. I did go back out yesterday. It's Sunday. I cannot go out. It is snowing. I just, I'm not wanting to deal with the weather outside. We are having another snowstorm. We had one last week, uh, late Sunday, Monday into Tuesday and pretty much didn't depart until almost Wednesday. We had almost two feet of snow in New York, more snow than we had for the last two years. I am so over it. I just, I, I cannot, I know it's February, but I am ready for spring. I am ready to decorate for spring. I am ready to move forward and get out of this snow pattern. But, um, until we can do that, 
I'm dealing with it. So I did go out yesterday and after this awesome find during the week, I have not really found anything and I guess I should just be happy. I am not going out today in the snow and braving this weather. I just, I'm going to stay home. It's Super Bowl Sunday. I'm going to just try to get things organized here. I did this video um, and just get ahead a little bit at home. But I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm looking for and I mean I'm sure if I find something that I don't have. I'm, I think I am looking for, you know what I'm looking for? Cause again, pink I'm looking for, I have the baby jelly beans canister from last year, but it's black and white. I am looking for the pink one. So I wouldn't be averse to finding that. Um, but I probably will slow up a little bit of my hunting. Oh, and maybe, and I'm not doing green, but when you find measuring cups, you don't leave them behind. Someone recently said that and that stuck in my head. So if I found green, I probably would grab them because again, I have the yellow and I have the pink. So if I do find green, I would not leave those behind. But otherwise, oh, and maybe a rainbow canister. I have a rainbow mug, but if I found the rainbow canister, I wouldn't leave that behind. But otherwise, yesterday when I went out, I could have my pick at the Easter canisters, so like the black and the white with the colored lids. I could have had my pick. I did not take. I did not want. Um, and mixing bowls. I didn't want the mixing bowls. I'm happy with what I have. So again, I probably will slow up a little bit on collecting and, you know, I should say hunting. But if I do find a couple of good things, I promise I'll share them here on the channel. So stay tuned for that. I, you know, I'll be back at some point, maybe not next week, but I will be back. But for the Irish coffee mug giveaway, if you are interested in winning this mug, please, please subscribe below. Subscribers are eligible we will do for this giveaway I will do a random comment picker but you have to be subscribed um you have to live in the USA and I'm trying to think you know what comment Irish coffee in the comments if you comment with Irish coffee and you're subscribed and you live in the USA you are eligible so and also I will I'm going to put up an Instagram post as well. I don't post as much on Instagram anymore, but for an extra um, add into the giveaway, head to Instagram and please like my page, like the post that has the picture with the mug in it. And also feel free to leave a comment with somebody else that you know that would like this mug and that's it I think and I'll leave I'll leave the directions in the comments as well for this giveaway so good luck and we'll draw the winner probably next weekend is the 14th I'll probably draw it the week right after Valentine's Day so I'll draw it during probably either the 15th or the 16th I'll try to draw and I'll post it I'll post a quick video with the winner so good luck to all the those that enter and for now if you are a subscriber already thank you thank you so much for all of your continued support if you are a new subscriber and hitting that button below thank you you like this video please give me a thumbs up because it helps bring more of this content your way and now I just want to say good luck to all those entering and have a magical day bye for now